Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video I'm sitting in a 2016 Jeep Compass and I will show you the location of the OBD2 or the agnostic port and I will explain how to use it. This video will apply to Jeep Compasses made from 2007 all the way up to 2017. If this video was helpful please consider supporting the channel by liking the video, subscribing to the channel or becoming a channel member. Now the OBD2 port is actually located under the steering wheel, it's gonna be just a second, down here I will turn on the flash on my phone, it's gonna be right here, so this is your OBD2 port. Now to scan the PCM, the computer, you will need the OBD2 scanner, so this is what you will need. Now these scanners are, uh, there's a bunch of different kinds, if you only want to read like the check engine light you can do it with a $5-$10 scanner, but if you want to access uh, uh, ABS module, airbag module, SRS or any more complicated diagnostics you will need a better more expensive scanner. Now, this one for example isn't too, too expensive, it's like $200-$250, it can access all of the modules but you cannot do many changes. If you want a professional scanner, it costs around uh, three, four thousand dollars. But this will be enough for me to show you. Now, first thing you want to do, you want to connect the, the scanner to OBD2 port. I can't really see what I'm doing down here. Okay. Now, once that is done, Next step is to, you don't want to start the vehicle, you just want to turn uh, turn the key twice to the right. So do not start it, but you want to turn the key twice to the right, so all the lights come on. And now you wait for the scanner to uh, initialize. Okay, now this scanner is quite so, slow, so this will take a bit uh, of time, but I will show you now how to scan the uh, the PCM. Now every scanner will be a bit different but, but in the essence they're all the same so you just have to get to the point where you can scan for any error codes. Now my scanner has automatic uh, wind detection. Um, some cheaper scanners will not even go through this, you will just come to the point of read DTC or read codes, right? I first have to select the vehicle on this one. Okay, now automatically it will scan. Now this vehicle doesn't have any codes or any problems. Uh, I'm just using it to record this video, see? PCM normal, uh, TCM transmission control module normal, ABS brakes normal. Now actually there is one code in the SRS, uh, that uh, those are the seat belts. So there is one code, lost communication with HVAC, heating, ventilation, air condition, cooling control module. Okay, I'll have to look into it what that means. But anyways, you can see there is no codes in the PCM, in the ABS or TCM. Yeah, and that's how you do it. And then if you find any kind of code in the PCM, uh, a better scanner will right away give you some ideas what might be happening, even some solutions on how to fix it, right? Cheaper scanner will just give you the codes, but again, you can go online, Google the code, and see what's going on. Some most common codes are like P0300, 03010102, that's a misfire, or P0420, that's catalytic converter, and things like that. But yeah, this is, this is how you do it. And once you're done, you want to turn the key to the off position and disconnect the scanner. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it was helpful and educational, if it was please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.